When I was talking to Miranda about how I should approach this maid of honor speech, her response was, oh, just roast me. <laughs> so here we go. Miranda was the classic younger, annoying little sister who always wanted to copy me, follow me and my friends, and tattle on me and Ty. Miranda and I didn't really become close until I moved out and I would often pick her up from school and we would have hair nights and she would sleep over. She became the most amazing auntie when Becca was born. Fast forward to now and she has easily become my person, my best friend, most amazing support and my baby's favorite aunt. Then Jack came around. Jack and Miranda started talking at the end of grade 11. While it took a while for him to develop the courage to ask her out, it did not at all surprise us when we soon came to realize of his deep feelings for her. Jack was very different when she was around. He was much nicer and more patient with his younger siblings, not at all what they were accustomed to. And he was a little quieter and more reserved. Well, this only lasted a short time before he was his wild, crazy self again. At first I thought, oh good, somebody who can tame our wild child. I would say things to Miranda like, if anybody can change him, you can. Or maybe you can calm his crazy side. But we came to realize that Miranda did not want to tame or calm or change Jack at all. She loved all of it and all of him. That is when we realized she was his one and only and they were the perfect match. Jack, will you were born best friend and you still are you today. Go on with him. Was so fun. He always looked out for me, and I always look out for him. Now, for new sister Amanda, I think back. I was actually friends with Amanda first. She is so nice and spent many lunch with me at Gato. I was very happy when she agreed to date my brother.
I love you both so much. I pray that Lord bless your marriage. Now, let's raise our cross and toast to Jack and Amanda. Please, Mike's please.